what's up guys i am looking like a crazy right now so like this light is out and that light is out so like i'm using this light lamp right here probably isn't the best idea if i'm turning down my hair but i can see just fine right here yeah with gucci anyways guys so it's like 10 o'clock almost probably almost 10 30. Uh, probably almost 10.30. And I'm about to dye my hair. Why am I dyeing my hair so late? Because I have a child who does not sleep for that long in the day. Like, she sleeps long, but she sleeps in, like, naps. So, it's not like... Lately, the most nap I've been being able to get out of her is about 30 minutes. Maybe 45. It just depends how tired she is. But she used to be taking like two hour naps and now she doesn't anymore. It's just like a lot of little naps. So so anyways, nighttime is the best time for me to do this. And nighttime is the best time for me to record, period. Like I like to record in the daytime, but it's just a lot to worry about and a lot to do. It's just too much. So anyways, I'm rambling about things that don't even matter. I'm about to dye my hair and I figured that I just will turn the camera on while I do it. It's been a little bit since I've dyed my hair. It's been almost two years. Oh my God, it's been almost two years. So yeah, I went and I've been putting this video off for a long time. These are what I'm gonna use. This is the hair dye, the bleach. I'm bleaching my hair today, guys. I've bleached it before in the past. That's how I got this color, but uh, it's time again. I went so long because of Nova. So I have a 30 developer and then some gloves and a little stick uh, stick thing to to mix and then I got this um toner um the color is pale ash blonde that's what's supposed to make your hair but I actually didn't use this the last time I bleached my hair I didn't really know what I was doing but sometimes I feel like I still don't know what I'm doing but I'm gonna do it anyways because I don't really care so I'm gonna dye my curls and then work on getting them back stronger <laughs> I'm a joke why am I doing this whatever all right so my hair is already in four sections i'm gonna do all of my hair in sections my hair is super dirty i've been just like basically look walking around looking like this uh for the longest because i knew i wanted to dye my hair but i knew that i couldn't have like fresh washed hair and i'm gonna just take a plastic container and i'm going to mix the contents together i got this stuff from the beauty spot store by the way these were $3.99 the toner was five dollars and the developer was three dollars so just to sum it up and they actually gave me the uh gloves for free just throw them in there i don't know but so i'm actually going to use both things i mean if i need to dye my hair again i will but i know that i need to use both because look how much of my hair grew out i don't really want this to be like a tutorial video because honestly i'm not in no position to be trying to teach somebody how to do something or how to do this specifically because trust me i'm not a pro i don't even know i just put the bleach in the bowl and now i'm about to add the developer honestly i don't know how much i should add but i'm just gonna add it till it's like a cakey consistency i guess Shout out to these little sticks, though. I remember those little packages my mom used to put relaxer in my hair. Y'all, my mom used to put relaxer in my hair. Can y'all believe that? I've never... Okay, I need a lot more. I've never had... Like, I guess my hair was, like, not unmanageable, but it was definitely uh really thick. And my mom doesn't have hair like me, so I'm sure she didn't really, like... No, the best ways to care for it y'all i used to straighten my hair wet yes i don't know if i've ever said that on my channel before but i straight up used to straighten my hair wet like a dirt dirt and i don't know what possessed me to do that like legit sit there with my hair sizzling uh <laughs> like i'm a whole joke but like nobody taught me that kind of stuff when i was little my mom didn't have hair like me so 
uh, it was just kind of like, okay, and my sister, my oldest sister, we'll have two older sisters. One of them has hair just like my mom, thicker, coarser hair. And then my, my middle sister who just has straight up like 3A hair. And then me where I'm like 3B, 3C, real thick, super curly, like, so we've all, we all have different kind of hair which is really interesting but uh but yeah my mama used to relax my hair i used to couldn't wait for relaxers love my hair straight crazy i'm gonna cut my hair off anyways so yeah surprise i'm cutting my hair off uh and then i'm gonna regrow it all back start fresh i just i just want to cut it off like i feel like i'm too much of my hair you know if you know what i mean like i don't know i just I just feel like it's time to cut it off and I just so I'm looking into um, donating my hair I don't know if I can with the bleach and stuff but I have to just look up this I just have to look up like you know what are the requirements or not requirement but like what what, what, what am I trying to say y'all I need to figure out what like the rules are to like donating your hair if i cut my hair off i don't just want to throw it away i do want it to go to someone that possibly needs it like someone suffering from cancer or something can make a wig out of my hair like something interesting like that to give it to somebody who actually needs it uh just just because like, i'm just too attached to my hair i've spent years working on my hair and getting it to be perfect and no it's too thick getting it to like be perfect and i mean for what my hair doesn't define me and i don't think i believe that deep in my heart and i don't think i will believe it deep in my heart until i chop it off okay guys i'm about to start applying this on my hair these are the cafeteria gloves oh god ow Nothing is worse than having gloves and dealing with your hair. Like, it's not a fun process. So I'm going to just go and do, like, little sections or whatever. I should probably take this robe off, too, huh? Honestly. Guys, I really don't care. Maybe I'll do a towel instead. Okay, yeah, let me take mine. Okay. Get this party started. I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers only because yeah I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers and I'm gonna kind of like streaky it so that it just I'll just do it I'm not gonna drag it all the way through yet because I need my ends to be like last or whatever because they're already blonde and yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just go like that. Leaving my ends how they are. Yeah, this isn't gonna work for me because it's gonna take me way too long to keep that clip in my hair. But anyways guys, so if you guys are watching this and you know of any of any good um like any good curly hairstylist that can chop all my hair off and not have me looking like a mom um, <laughs> um let me know in the comments below i do uh, am in the atlanta area so uh, hit your girl up leave something in the comments to let me know that you know someone shameless plug I'm trying to get this baby blonde, okay? So I'm not even going to be shy with the bleach. That is what's going on with my hair right now. As y'all see, I keep doing all kind of stuff to it. I keep cutting it. I keep... Now I'm dyeing it. And so... It's just kind of like... This is just what I got going on with right now. This is just what I want to do. I always just do what I feel like doing. Like, I wake up and just be like... I want to cut my hair. I want to dye my hair. I want to change the whole house around. Like, that's the kind of person I am. I'm just so, just like get up and do it. Cause I feel like it kind of thing.
yeah once I'm done with the tiny sections I just take it and put more on all of it at the same time on the entire section okay I'm about to ditch the towel y'all honestly So since it's changing so quickly, I'm going to go ahead through each section again and finish out the bottom. So I just washed my hair. Well, I washed it out. Oh, that's real blonde. Definitely going to have to do this again. You got real blonde though. While my hair is what is this called again? I got the, uh, what the heck is this called? Toner. My best friend got me two face masks. This is a honey one. It's for nourishing. And this is a charcoal one for pore care. I think I could use some pore care today. We'll do this while we wait for my hair to tone. When I put it on, it literally looked like it made my hair darker again. That was really weird. So we'll see. Hopefully I didn't do this for nothing. But until then, I'm going to do this face mask because I could really use one. I actually need to wipe my face off with some witch hazel first. on for 10 to 20 minutes so Ooh. oh she's dripping it's just like when this stuff sits on my face it just like creates all these pimples my skin is so sensitive but oh, it's so cold I usually don't do these but I'm gonna try it why not I'm back and I'm about to take this off my face. Boop. Mm -hmm. So apparently I'm supposed to just pat this serum. Gently pat until my face is completely dry. This is very interesting. Okay, I'm going to check my hair again. And just see what it's looking like up under here. So honestly, I'm like high key over it. And I kind of just want to wash it. I just want to wash it and... I 
So I'm about to wash it because I'm tired AF. And this toner is taking 12 years. So, but it's cute blonde, so y'all can't really tell because it's so dark. But yeah, I'm about to wash it. Then I'm going to be doing a reparative mask on my hair. And then, yeah. What's up, guys? So it's the next morning, and I put a hair mask in my hair last night. So after I... After the toner, I went in and I washed with the Argan Oil of Morocco Shampoo and Conditioner. And then um, I went ham on the Shea Moisture um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthening Growth Hair Mask. I love this thing. I actually have one that I've had for like forever. The Strength and Growth and Restore Treatment Mask. Um, I used to douse this in my hair, like, when I had color before, and, um, and I used this, I used this line when I, uh, first started my curly hair journey, so it's always been, like, a go-to for me, because I just know it works so well. So, yeah, I put so much of this in my hair last night, and then I just, um, I kept it in my hair. I put a plastic cap on it and then I put the bonnet on it. So now I'm about to rinse it out and then I'm going to braid it up. Usually after I dye my hair, I keep it up in like protective styles for a while. Before I wash out the conditioner, I wanted to show you guys what it kind of looked like as far as the color. It's wet, so obviously it's a lot darker right now, but you can tell that it's a lot lighter. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys because once I wet it again, it's really going to be dark. So y'all really won't be able to see the full effect of the color until like I post a picture on like IG or something. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Okay guys, so I have gone through my day and this is, it's technically been two days since I dyed my hair. Yesterday I um, left it in braids all day um, after I washed out the Shea Moisture mask. Um, so yeah, and then this is the braid. I just put it in two braids and then today I took them out this morning and I've been like just kind of fluffing them around and playing with it and my hair really does not look like that unhealthy that Shea Moisture Mask really like, yeah, it really did the job. Um, and sleeping with it overnight was probably the best decision I could have made. So yeah, um, I definitely did lighten up my roots. Like now it looks like all of my hair is somewhat blonde. This isn't the last color that I want to be or the final color that I want to be. I'm trying to go like really ash blonde, but I feel like I'm going to have to go to a actual salon for that so we'll see but i mean i'm i think this is very cute right now i could have done without the, the the developer um simply just because i don't feel like i had the patience to leave it on as long as i was supposed to um but either way it goes um yeah i'm satisfied with what i did like i said it was no tutorial um and i just wanted y'all to hang out with me while i did it and this is the result so i figured i'd show you guys uh, what it looks like. Alright guys, so that is the end of this video. Um, if you enjoyed hanging out with me while I dyed my hair and you like cool things like this, make sure you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Got a lot of fun content coming at you guys soon. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye.